For my next step of the printing plate, I'm going to color each section a different color. You're going to want to start at the top and work your way down because if you rest your hand on top of a section that you already colored, it will come off and go all over your hands here. So in order to color, I don't want to press hard. So this is sort of opposite of the pencil. I wanna make sure that I'm really lightly coloring it in and that I'm not leaving any peekaboo spots. Peekaboo spots, those white spots that sort of show through. So I'm going to color this section of pink like this. The next section, perhaps I will use a green. And again, anytime I use this, it actually kind of helps to hold it on diagonal and just lightly go back and forth. I'm really not pressing hard. If I press too hard, it's going to leave an indent and you'll be able to see that mark. So I'm actually barely touching this. And I'm gonna go ahead and color the rest of this in. Okay, and when you think you're finished, what I want you to do is look back over your foam board and check to see if you have any peekaboo spots. So what you're looking for are spots that you accidentally may have forgotten to color in. If you see those spots that are still white, go ahead and color those in before we do our next step. And I see that I left a few green spaces here that were undone also. Now you might notice that the way that I'm holding this now is just by holding the edges. If I put my finger down on here, then it lifts up the ink and it goes all over my finger and I won't have it for my picture. So you wanna be very careful not to actually touch your marker, but when you pick it up, we always pick it up by the sides. Okay, and I'm ready for my next step now.